Hi guys, welcome back to Chaz's No BS Reptile Advice. Today's question comes from Tiffany Chase. Hey Chaz, love your channel. I wonder if I could get your opinion on snakes as a sort of service animal. Of course, not the type you'd take outside. I struggle with anxiety and get a bit depressed sometimes and was wanting a pet. Problem is with depression, I tend to check out sometimes for a few days and need something low maintenance that can survive me being on autopilot. So I got a ball python. She's not as beginner as I thought she'd be and now I stress more about her care than anything else. But I love her, absolutely no regrets. Have you experienced customers getting into the hobby for the same reasons? And noticed any positive changes in them? Also, do you feel that there's something calming about caring for snakes as opposed to others? Thanks for your time. Well, no, Tiffany, thanks Thanks for the question. And uh, being honest about uh, depression, mental health, um, and the stigmas that people attach to it uh, can make that difficult sometimes. And uh, you ought to be applauded for being brave enough to be able to discuss it. I think the thing for you to understand is you're not alone. And even the people that you perceive as being uh, totally with it, totally in control, or big and strong, or whatever else, they suffer with it. Their anxiety, their doubts, their demons, their whatever else. I've got demons, you know. Uh, I, um, on antidepressants, I take fluoxetine, which is Prozac over in America, so you're not by yourself, love. We all struggle, we've all got fucking demons on our shoulders that make life life a pain in the ass. As far as reptiles, you know, being service animals, why not? I mean, what, I don't, for me, maybe, because I'm northern and, and brash and, and all the rest of it, I don't get essentially what a service animal is. What, I, I, or, or the anxiety, I don't, I don't particularly suffer with anxiety per se. I just, I go in funks, you know, and, and drop down. And the animals are great to work with to be able to help pull me out of that. So I don't see why it wouldn't work as a service animal. I think what we've got to do is maybe always be mindful of the fact that if it's a mammal or if it's a bird, they can self-regulate their temperature. Obviously with reptiles, this isn't in the house only sort of thing. I'm not going to take the piss. I'm not going to be a dickhead. I'm not going to belittle anybody who is suffering with... Uh, that monkey on the back because it's shit when it happens absolutely shit and people do make a stigma out of it but it's always behind your back they never do it to your face do you know what I mean if someone wants to take the piss out of me for taking antidepressants they can do it to my face I'll fucking brain them you know um, that's my take on it I I, uh, I think that They are fabulous animals for connecting with. For maybe if you feel a bit sort of uh, left field, a bit a bit um, weird, you're not normal. I don't fit in. I don't feel like I fit in. Reptiles have always had that sort of position in the pet game as well, where you had to be a bit left field to keep them, and they just sort of fit perfectly for that purpose. They're beautiful. They're wonderful to hold. Yes, they're calming. Yes, they're soothing. And, you know, they make fabulous pets. And all of us can agree just how great it is to have an animal. Or really suss out that you're, you're care and you're in tune with it and it's growing and it's doing well. And, you know, there's a real um, feeling of satisfaction that comes with that. Uh, and that's to be celebrated. Now, you talk about anxiety. But would you sooner be anxious about a pet? And making sure their care is fantastic or anxious about things that you can't control that are injurious to your lifestyle outside. This may be the perfect way to be able to deflect. I'd sooner be anxious that a snake's doing well than worrying about, oh, did I lock the door? What bills have I got to pay this month? I'd sooner be concentrating on the pet every day of the week than worrying about money or worrying about partners or whatever else. All the people that have got mental health issues, they can be aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters, grandmas, granddads, lovers. They can be mistresses. They can be anything. 
and we're expected to hold down jobs or run a family or run a household or be a manager or be a, be a director or be a chief executive or be a nurse uh, you know work with children you could be any of these things you know it doesn't preclude us from doing anything why the fuck should it preclude us from keeping pets and if if we're anxious let's reword anxious let's not take ownership of anxious let's make sure that we're thorough that we're disciplined that we are attentive to our animals needs you're not anxious it's just attention to detail love that's all it is you know that'd be the way that i try and do it i'd want to put a spin on it where i'm thinking to myself yeah well i've got my, my snakes back i've got i'm looking after it i'm doing well i mean royal pythons are laid back they're a soothing snake they're chilled out there's no dramas whatsoever see as well as as well as um mental health which is serious and you know it's finally beginning to gain traction and and get the, some of the recognition it deserves they are invisible and you don't necessarily always see it um i mean yeah sure there'll be people that take the piss and put it on but then there'll be you know there are in every walk of life the glass backs that can't go to work because ooh, ooh, you know it happens they know how to play the system and do i believe that mental health is devoid of that well no but then it, from personal experience I also know that there are very real problems that people have as well and it happens you know so we also get people that come in who have got uh, disabilities whether that be mental or physical and one of the, the most common ones or prevalent ones that we've had that have proven to be some of the absolute best keepers are the people that are just just touching onto the autistic spectrum so we're thinking of things like Asperger's syndrome and such where their attention to detail now you would describe it as your anxiety but their attention to detail is second to none and because everything is so formulaic if if they need to do a b c d e f they do a b c d e f they can't do e f d it's got to be d e f it's very much organized and structured now when we've got an animal that we're solely responsible for and play god in a box then these are the very best keepers and it's amazing watching mums and dads just absolutely made up over the moon that their kid who's always maybe struggled slightly socially or you know maybe acts out at school but is obviously very cerebral intelligent then has a reptile where they come in and see me or Paul and we're like yep yeah, right now this is yours this isn't your mum or dad's so we need you to do this 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 we want a diary that includes this 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 we want you to write down the feeds when it shed its skin we want to you to wait once a month we're going to clean it out fully once a month we spot check it every day fresh water every day we feed it once a week we can't hold it for two days after it's fed do you know what every single one of those rules will be followed to the letter and they bring in some of the most stunning spectacular specimens and i am absolutely as proud as punch of these kids because one they found a skill that they excel at two it helps improve their self-worth and their self-belief and three it shows them that they can do whatever they set their mind to do regardless of what other people may perceive as problems we're not anxious we're attentive you know and as far as checking out for a few days it's a snake it's not going anywhere it's not a mammal. It's not like a guinea pig or a hamster or a rabbit or any of these other things that are used as serviced animals with fair fair amount of regularity. Where if mammals don't feed or aren't watered regularly, they're going to run into problems and hit the skids very quickly. Reptiles aren't. And if you do check out for two or three days, as long as it's got a fresh water bowl and it, it's t you've got it on a thermostat where you can control the temperature, I wouldn't worry. It isn't going to miss you. Snakes aren't that sort of... They won't... Um, what's the word? They don't, they don't pine for you. They don't have to come out. People anthropomorphize them. They give them qualities that they simply do not have. Your snake will recognize you and it will recognize your scent. It will see you as non-threatening and therefore it will not act out in any aberrant ways. But some people will notice when an unknown person holds it that they become more agitated and that's because the scent doesn't match what they're used to as their handling experience. So... You know, yes, they know you. Yes, they're relaxed with you, but they're quite happy in their tank. And when they're in the tank, their their the environment is being maintained by thermostatic control. And I I would definitely make sure that you have that. I know that you know some of the Americans that watch your stat development thermostat development is 
leagues behind the British, which I, I'm still trying to work my head round. Um, but definitely make sure that we're using stats, not Rio stats, they're not good enough thermo stats that will control your heater with an active probe that tells the box whether to turn itself up or down and as long as you do that i don't see that there should be an issue i think that um there needs to be such as your question there like there's no shame in struggling having it rough or having a problem and people from all walks of life are going to be the same I'm certainly not going to tell you that you're not entitled to feel the way that you feel or if you go off reservation for a couple of days Fuck, who, who am I to do it you know when, when when I've had my own demons in the past you know and I like booze and you know there's so the, you know everybody's got those demons that they're rocking nobody's got the right to take the piss out of you and you face up to anybody who decides that they want to take the piss and you have them because their life's no better and usually the dickheads that are the loudest taking the piss are the ones that have got their own demons and they'd sooner take the mickey out of you to deflect away from the fact that they've got their own shit going on i hope that was of use keep going with your animals tiffany don't give up yes you love them why not you're going to be a great keeper you're not anxious you're attentive bang on see you all soon love you peace